DJ, right? <laughs> Right, as we promised you every Tuesday, we allow the contestants of this year's 2018 Carnival Queen pageant to take over the morning show. And we've got two lovely contestants this morning. One lady representing Crystal Claire, and another representing Pico. So WLBL is in the house this morning. Let's take you over to Miss Hannah. They're beauty sisters. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and your sponsors came in representing this morning. Yes, and they they dropped early. off some yeah. products. Yeah, so they, they, they're not playing around. Yeah. Welcome, ladies. How are you? Good? Good morning. Thank Don't be nervous. Uh, we yeah. not no grilling or anything. Yeah, yeah, we just yeah. should chat and just for the public to know you a little better because right. I'm sure, um, you know, being on the journey and, and people see the photos and you're nice and fancy going to dinners and stuff, they, they want to know who the real you um, actually is. So we're happy to have you join us. So we have Miss Peter, that's Tanji Hi. Butcher. And we have Miss Tasha Fanners, yes, Miss Crystal Claire. That's Mike's favorite water. Yes, the only choice water, is clear. The only water is Crystal Claire. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? Good. Y'all good? good? All right. So let's um, get to know you a little more. So Ta um, Tanji, we'll start with you, uh, Miss Peter. How are you doing? Tell us a little more about yourself. Who is Tanji? Okay. Well, Tanji Butcher is very reserved, and a lot of people are very surprised when they hear that you're right but i am a very reserved person although i like to have fun mm -hmm. uh, i love doing the simplest things going to the beach with friends mm -hmm. river limes that sort of thing i love to have fun um a lot of people would probably remember me from doing a lot of modeling yeah yeah well. yeah so i am an aspiring model i like to okay does that nice <laughs> All right. And yes, I'm Miss Peter Beer. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm sure you being uh, a model and we've seen you on, on calendars right. and we, we've seen you do promos and stuff. You've been getting the request to do Carnival Queen for quite some time, I could imagine. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Every head comes along. Yeah. Actually, I think you should probably look into doing Carnival Queen. Mm -hmm. But it was always a situation where I was like, in, when the time is right for me, mm -hmm. then I'm going to step into that. Right. And this year, I just felt I'm doing it for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and mm -hmm. then just go in. Go in. Mm -hmm. And um, you're enjoying the journey so far? I'm enjoying the journey, yeah. but I should let you know in the beginning, mm -hmm. it was a little difficult because here I was. I'm stepping into a whole different domain. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to expect. I was a little nervous. It was my first pageant. Mm -hmm. There was just a lot of people giving different advice and you just don't know where you should like everybody pulling you in a different direction in i could imagine direction. right so it was a little difficult but now it's it's a little chilled where i have my chaperone to guide me barbara thank you so much mm -hmm. <laughs> she's fantastic she has been helping me through the journey okay. and now it's just about enjoying it okay and just putting in 100 percent. nice i remember seeing you at the auditions and i think everybody knew it was a shoo-in, you know? You did a, you did a great job. Yeah, thank Your you. Your first pageant? First, first pageant. pageant. All right. Well, pretty impressive at the auditions. Thank and you're you. from what community? I'm from Grosely. Grosely. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. So you're representing yes. your Grosely. <laughs> All right. I hope Ezra will be in the crowd screaming for you. Aye, aye. Yes, he should. He should. <laughs> All right. And we have uh, Miss Crystal Claire, Tasha. How are you doing, Tasha? Hi, I'm good. All right. Uh, tell us about yourself. Well, I'm originally from Miku. From Miku. I thought Chozel, because yeah. I hear all Shabins <laughs> from Chozel. Uh -huh. No, originally from Miku. From Miku, okay. Yes. Well, I'm a very jovial individual. Mm -hmm. This is not my first pageant. Oh, really? No, it's So not. tell us about some of the pageants you, you've um, been a part I of. I did, the first one I did um, at Miku Secondary, that's the school I attended. Mm -hmm. That was the Creole pageant. Also, I did Lady Glamity in my community, and mm -hmm. last year I did Miss Miku Carnival. Nice. Yes, so this is not new to me but national carnival queen is a different it's experience. yes it's i've realized level so it's so much more that i have to learn mm -hmm. i mean it's just 
broad. It's a big thing for me, and I really appreciate the opportunity. And mm-hmm. I just want to say thank you to Celestia Events and all the rest. Right. Everybody in the committee for giving me this opportunity, and I'm really enjoying the journey. Uh huh. And basically, I'm, like I said, very jovial. Mm-hmm. I enjoy listening to music. Mm-hmm. So you reside in Miku? No, I, li- I currently live in Badawaj. In Badawaj, yes. okay, nice. So, what made you want to do pageants, Tasha? Because you're a you're a pretty girl, so that's that's one. <laughs> um, but what actually? Because doing a pageant is like on another level. I give is, you girls is, props. Is, I could is. never. <laughs> um, but it, it's it's it comes with a lot. What made you want to do pageants at such a young age and actually go up for the well, national pageant? Actually, country? my aunt kind of motivated me to do those things. And growing up, I saw Louise Victor. She's my cousin, by the way. Mm-hmm. So okay. I always wanted to be like her. All right, and nice. I think just seeing her and how far she has gotten is just really mm-hmm. amazing. And I think I can probably be like that one. Right. So she inspired me. Basically. Right. Nice. I'm sure she's giving you tips and, and, yes. and guidance as yes. well. All right. So uh, being part of the pageant, I, I remember you had the auditions in your black dress as well. I was like, <laughs> may say legs for this. <laughs> Uh, so you did pretty impressive for for the audition. So I I think it's uh, no, you two no, really deserved your no, spots no, in the no, finals. No. You were. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's <laughs> that's natural. That's natural. So tell us about um, the experience as far being in, in the pageant. What are some of the, the things that you really loved so far? Um, I would say the girls. We have a mm-hmm. relationship. So uh huh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we gel <jump> well. <laughs> okay. And the committee has been great they're putting in all the extra work to Mm -hmm. see that we have the best of the best Mm -hmm. so the journey has been great Mm -hmm. it has been great yes all right challenging Mm -hmm. difficult you know but it's been great and i'm grateful for the experience okay nice well we know uh, the committee has been um definitely turning things around and (laughs) and we see a lot of photo shoots and you you guys are doing a lot very busy (laughs) so (laughs) let's talk about your schedule what is a the schedule like a normal day for the, the contestants what, well, what what's <laughs> for me and work i have to balance oh so you work yes. too okay so that's even more difficult yes. uh-huh so much it is a lot so i don't have spare time right for anything for my, my time is just dedicated to rehearsals doing stuff with the girls mm-hmm. interviews when i get home <coughs> try to sleep then right because you need the beauty yes. sleep yes yes yes, yes. Very, so very, very important I'm working, I'm working around it right now tanji what about you how how is it how are you able to go with that schedule that busy busy schedule it's difficult at times mm-hmm. like, uh, tasha mentioned it's dedication mm-hmm. so on a on a normal week it's gym and then there's the sessions with Yes. Well, on Saturdays, there's um, the development. Yeah. Oh, you'll have workshops. We okay, tell us about that. What are some of the workshops you've been a part of? Well, we have talent coordinators coming in, mm-hmm. giving us tips. It's okay. basically to give us tips on, on certain right, things. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. We have persons um, in, the beauty, in the beauty industry coming in, giving us tips oh, on that as well, how to yeah. make up application and all of that. Mm-hmm. Just giving us a, a rundown as to what they expect from us. Mm-hmm. Um, just certain things that we we need to you know go into this pageant and do your great, best great right and, and confident right and then Not you'll just for the pageant but for future but for future right future. so you'll have gym as well that you have oh, to yeah, incorporate in that they made sure of that what? <laughs> they made sure of that okay so yeah. it's it's a little difficult sometimes because you really don't have that much time for yourself mm-hmm. even when you have time where you know you need to rest you use that like you try to really just take that time to go over your whatever you yeah because you have to work on your talents and 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 all that that, right so even when i have a a time for my uh, time for myself it's like sometimes you have to go yeah it's like like you you just have to (laughs) right right but i know that rest is very important so 
Let's not forget the eating habits. The eating habits, eating yes. Habits you had to, uh huh. You, you had to restrain true. yourself. Okay. <laughs> a lot of things yes. and eating on time. That's mm -hmm. very important. Mm -hmm. It's time management. It was really it's tough. It's it a lot. It's I can imagine. Yes. Yeah. And then you had to make sure that you're always on point always on and point. you know you're you able. Yeah. Because now we are public figures. Right. right. So and role yes. models. I'm sure there are a lot of girls who look up to you. But one of the things that really helps me is that I have a personal schedule. Uh -huh. So, you know, I make sure that this is done on at this particular time. Mm -hmm. So it gives me that time to fit in rest and mm -hmm. go back into, you know, okay. just get right. back into the groove of things. Okay. Now, I, I know year after year, we always had a contestant say that um, the pageant helps you with your growth and personal development. Could you attest to that? It, mm -hmm. Definitely? Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> I'm already feeling different. It's like something I had to get out because I'm not normally used to mm -hmm. all these things so I had to get out of my comfort zone right. things that I'm not used to mm -hmm. dressing, hair, always ensure that you look stunning before you step That's out true. of your house because mm -hmm. some days you don't really want to look pretty you don't want to right. you want to look glamour but you have to, you have so to. Right. I'm getting used to it Okay, so <laughs> it's fun All right, and I'm sure you have a lot of help from your, your chaperones yes. yes, my chaperone is uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say he's the best. He goes all the way out to see to that. I get everything that I need mm -hmm. on point. Always. Yeah. The best. So shout out to Keston. All right, Keston, <laughs> chaperone extraordinaire. Yes. All right. I, I I know the chaperones have a, a lot of work that they do yeah, behind they the do. scenes, and I don't find they get enough recognition. So it's good that you're yeah. you're able They're to. Very hard working. Yeah. Very dedicated as well. Mm -hmm. They want the win just as much as mm -hmm. we do. Mm -hmm. They put in so much. And we really appreciate it. So again, Barbara, I love you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Barbara. Thank you so much. Yes. It's, it's a lot. It's a it's lot. A I lot. could imagine. They have yeah. different yeah. lives as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it takes a lot to be dedicated to something like this. And that's where we have to be very appreciative because we're not the only ones on the journey. Mm -hmm. We have our other shopper. people. Mm -hmm. We have our sponsors. Our Peter sponsors Bear. Well. <laughs> <laughs> the Beery Sisters. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but there's other right. people on the journey journey as well so mm -hmm. you want to give more than a hundred right. percent because it's not just about you but everybody you have else. a team behind you, you. Team yeah behind you and you want to make them and your proud family and friends right so nice. the whole system uh-huh it's behind you and then you just have to you just have to give it your all okay and that's what Push we've been doing yes. for right. sure Pushing through. Pushing through. now the time is almost here it's oh, june yeah. 30th time <laughs> flying yes it's week so by week I'm we're so getting reminded. closer <laughs> is there any segment that you you're looking forward to like I know you're going to be nervous on the day. Yes. That's natural. But is there any um, segment that you know that that's like a piece of cake for me? Like, it's nothing. Yeah. Or you're ex actually excited about? I would think for you, if the, the two of you especially, it would be either swimwear or evening, the evening dress. To be honest, uh -huh. I'm looking forward to talent because that's my what? weakest point. Yeah. I'm being very serious because I know for sure that that's, that is something that I want to execute. Mm -hmm. And I want to do it to the best of my ability. So that's one of the things that I'm looking forward to because I'm giving it my all. Oh, okay. So that is what my main focus is and that is what I'm looking forward to. Okay. I just want to give it nail. Right. Right. You just want to nail the talent. Nail it. Okay. Do. Well, for me, it's, it would be interview. Yeah. Interview? Yes. You're looking forward <laughs> to the interview, Tasha? <laughs> interview, yes. I want to be able to answer my question properly. <laughs> I, Whoa. Okay. I'm not good at it, so I'm working on it. Right. I'm really working on it. So right. I just, it doesn't have to be the best, but at least I know I gave. You gave it your own. Yeah. And that's one answer. that carries the most points yes. as mm -hmm. well. So Talent, I'm excited mm -hmm. about talent. Mm-hmm. But I'm okay. <laughs> All right, but you're looking forward to the interview. Yes. I've never heard that before, <laughs> um, but that's good. Uh, what are some of the other things that, that you have coming up on your schedule leading up to the um, actual day? So people can look forward to so it. For now, it's just interviews. Interviews, all right. Wednesday. Every Wednesday as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you all will be a so part of that next week. Officially introduced as right. National yes. Carnival. Yes. Yes. Right. I guess that's why they say it's the the, the formal <laughs> opening yes, of Carnival <laughs> because we have the uh, contestants that will be a yes. part of it. So you guys looking forward to that? Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. So everybody will see you on stage right. next week, Wednesday. For Epic Wednesday. Epic Wednesday. All right. Anything you want to say to the public, all those listening to you guys? 
Well, we just want to see come mm-hmm. on the large numbers to support Miss mm-hmm. Crystal Clear and Miss mm-hmm. Peter, all the, the beauty sisters. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and thank you guys for all those who've been following our page and like mm-hmm. Shane. We just want to say thank you. We really appreciate it and just continue to support us and see you guys on June 30th. All right, Tanji, anything you want to say? Okay, I would just love to speak to the public. I'm so, so happy for all the generous comments and likes and everything, the support. Even when you guys see me on the streets yeah. and then you you remember it's like Miss Pito, how are you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, it's it's very it's it's warming yeah. to, mm-hmm. to get all of that support and I'm really happy about your your guys' involvement and it plays a really huge role because it gives us all the confidence as well that we need. Mm-hmm. And uh, thank you so much to Peter Bear for sponsoring me. I feel like I'm at home mm-hmm. and I'm Definitely. doing all that I have to to bring home the crowd <laughs> and Barbara, my mom. I love you so much. Mom, happy birthday. I hope oh, you today is her birthday. Everyone. Yes. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday mommy. What's her name? Mom, Rita Moyes. All right, Rita, Sorry, happy birthday. <laughs> we'll play her song. Yes, Thank you Rita. So much. Okay, nice. Thank you guys for everything yes. and all the support. We really, really, really appreciate, appreciate it. it. What are your um Instagram handles so persons could uh, definitely follow it's you. Miss Peter Bier 2018. Mm-hmm. At um, Miss Crystal Clay 2018. The same for Facebook. No? All right. Facebook, as Facebook well. and Instagram. So they could follow, stay updated, see what you guys are What's up to yes. on the journey to the crown. All right. Just the easy peasy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's all <laughs> grueling here. We just <laughs> chill it. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, ladies. We know thank we'll you. be seeing you again soon um, later on in the month of June. Yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, we wish you all the very best. Keep up the good work and uh, fingers crossed. Yes. Yes. (laughs) All right. Thank you so much for having us. The Wave, 94.5 and 93.7 FM. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen. be ready for an unforgettable moment. Vibes on the Island, presented by the Sanders Foundation and the Coca-Cola Company. Vibes on the Island touches down in St. Lucia for the first time on June 2nd. The benefit concert brings out of Jamaica reggae icon, Barrett and Levy.